Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. So obviously if you follow me for a while you know there's something different about me and that's my hair color. So I did paint with my hair orange yesterday at the hairdresser or the hair salon or however you want to call it and I am so happy like how it turned out. I think it looks so beautiful and I did want this for a while. So yeah. <laughs> I don't think I've actually talked about this on my channel, so yeah. Um, this is the new hair color that you're gonna see for a little while now. I used to like paint my hair a lot. I didn't do that the last period that I was on YouTube because I wanted my hair to grow out longer again and I wanted the blonde paint out of my hair. But today I'm just gonna do a neutral um, eye look. Well. I'm not really sure how neutral, but I'm gonna use some neutral tones. So I just recently went through my makeup collection because I filmed the whole makeup collection. I still do have to edit that, but the, like it takes so much time to edit everything because I do have like pretty much makeup. But I found this palette from Jaclyn Hill. It's the Morphe Neutral Divine palette. And if you look at the inside, this palette looks so beautiful. I did use this palette for a wedding when I did the makeup of the bride. It was a friend of my mom and I did her makeup for her wedding. So I did use this palette because I thought it was very pretty and neutral and I think it almost fits every skin tone because there are so many tones in here. So I'm first gonna start off with this neutral, well, no, it's all neutral, with these matte tones and then obviously we're gonna use the shimmer tones afterwards. So I'm gonna zoom you in a little bit closer and then we're gonna get started. What I'm gonna do now is we're gonna start off with the eyeshadow primer, which is this one that I always use. It's from MAC. It's the uh, Pro Longwear Paint Pot in the shade Painterly. And as you can see, it has been well used, but it's still like very nicely usable. So I'm just putting some on my brush and then I'm putting this on my eyelids. And I'm first now going to use this shade right here, which is called Chic Happiness, I guess. Oh, Chic Happens, which is this color, and I'm going to set my eyelid with that. Now I'm going to use the second lighter shade, which is the shade Just Barely, and I'm going to put that in my crease to give my eyes some depth, because as you can see, they look like really, really flat right now. So let's give it a little bit dimension back. I think this is such a nice palette. I'm not really sure if Morphe still sells this one. But I don't know, I am really happy that I have this in my collection. And now I'm going to use the next shade, which is called Good Vibes, right here. And as you can see, it does have like much fallout and it's even like on the part right here. I don't really mind fallout, but some people do. I do think like your palette, because it's a white palette, the palette can look like really, really messy because all of the brown tints that are going over it. I don't mind, but some people do. I'm gonna use the same brush for this shade. Putting it in the crease as well. Oh yes. Yeah, I have no idea why, uh, or <laughs> I have no idea if Morphe is still selling this palette, but I think this is such a pretty neutral palette, even like beautiful for every day and like I told you, beautiful for like putting makeup on a bride. Now with a tinier brush, I'm gonna use the shade Boo Bear, which is the fourth shade in this, well, Boo Bear right here, which is the fourth shade in this first row. And I'm gonna deepen up my outer crease. But I am like really curious what you guys think of my hair. Do you think it looks beautiful? Do you think it fits me? Like I said, I absolutely love it and I am really, really happy that I like did this. But I am really curious about what you guys think about it. So let me know. I do know I have a video of me like getting red hair on this channel as well. I love that one, but this looks like 
more natural like it should have been my hair color maybe a little bit which is actually really really cool so yeah like I said just comment down below what you think about it I am so curious and I'm gonna put this shade under well on my lower lash line as well and I'm doing that to connect these two with each other I'm gonna use the lightest one first which is called Allux it's the shade right there and I'm not really sure which shade I'm going with for the outer portion we'll see using my finger and this looks so bright oh yes that's so pretty I'm not really sure if I should actually like put another glitter right there because I think this looks like so beautiful so I don't think I will I think I'm just gonna keep it a little bit like simple like this I don't know I just think this looks nice yeah so I think this eyeshadow portion is done now so now I am gonna close this palette and we are going to do the brows and for that I'm using the orgy palette from Jeffree Star Cosmetics like I usually do and I think I'm gonna use the shade safe sex first and then maybe one of these I'm not really sure I'll, I'll see what I do I can definitely like go a little more orange now than I usually do and now I'm gonna use my brow gel from Noosh and like I always say, if you don't know what the brand Noosh is, it's from a Dutch influencer. And I did do a review of the brand, like the products that I bought. And I have to say, it was actually like a really nice review, I think. I liked everything. I'm not really sure anymore, at least everything that I've used so far. Now I'm gonna put on a brown liner and I'm gonna use the Essence Lush Princess Liner. It's actually so cool how nice this eyeliner is because as you can see I did put it on the eyeliner I have so many brown tints and brown shades on my eyes and some even come a little bit close to the color of the eyeliner but everything fits like so nicely together the only sad thing is I don't have a brown mascara yet so I do have to use a black one but I think that looks actually always very nice with a look like this one of the things I am gonna do first is I'm gonna line my waterline with this max studio um eye pencil in the shade nc15 and w20 and by doing this you give this like little illusion of your eyes being a little bit brighter and a little bit more open what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna use my jeffree star cosmetics concealer in the shade c2 and putting that underneath my eyes and i'm like blending it out with my RT blending. No, not blending brush. Normally I let it sit for like a minute or so, but... Sorry. <laughs> but I wanted to blend it out immediately because I still wanted this look to be natural and not like too bright or something like that. Okay, so now that looks pretty nice. I'm gonna set my whole face with this L'Oreal 24 hour invisible wear foundation powder. I'm gonna use a, a fluffy brush and putting this all over my face. And 
And I really like this powder foundation because as you can see, I do have a little bit of a like discoloration or pigment or how you want to however like you want to call that like right there and i did have a little bit on this side as well and obviously like big things like this don't go away but like you see the redness a little bit less with this powder which i think is very very nice it's a very good foundation powder if you ask me because it still looks like like more neutral but you can like definitely see there is something on your face because it does look more even than if it was just in your skin tone and i do have to say like i made one up already and i'm probably gonna like empty this one as well but i think it's such a nice foundation and yeah i would like 100 percent recommend this for sure the next thing that I'm going to use is my bronzer and I have this palette from Benefit. It's the Forescope Earth Angel palette. Oh shit, I just bumped my finger into this blush. Okay. Well, I'm gonna use my Hula bronzer which is right here and it's very nicely used as you can see. And I am gonna use the highlighter cookie as well. I'm gonna put that on my brown bow, my inner corner and the other spots on my face where I normally put highlighter. But first, I'm gonna put my bronzer on. I just don't wanna go like too heavy today because this is like more of a, I guess, more neutral look. So then I wanna keep like the bronzing and the contouring a little bit lighter as well than how I would usually do so. This is such a pretty highlighter, like it doesn't even need setting spray or anything like that. Like look at the shine that it immediately gives you, like that's so beautiful. No, I'm first gonna use some blush. So I'm now gonna use the She Glam blush and that's in this little set. So it's the shade Glam 101 Hybrid Highlighter M Blush Duo. And it's the like coral orangey shade. Ooh, that's pigmented. I'm gonna keep this like simple so I'm using this Labello lip gloss and it doesn't have a shade name. I have no idea what the shade name of this is but it's the pink one. And it's like such a pretty neutral color. It does have some pigment at first, but it does sheer out a little. Do we like the pink? I'm not really sure. Oh my god, I don't think I like the pink. The pink lip gloss was too bright for this look. So I'm gonna put this lip gloss on from Pat McGrath. It's this like very cute heart shaped form and it came in a set of two. It's this one and a little bit of a darker one. Um, Lust Gloss Fresh Fantasy it says. Yeah, this is better. At least for this makeup because this looks a little bit more neutral than the pink one did. What I wanted to tell you is I am now like gonna curl my lashes and then I'll be right back with putting on my mascara and the finished makeup look. I did curl my lashes but 
Oh, damn it. Oh. So, the lashes are all done now and I'm gonna zoom you out. And then, this is what the finished makeup looks like. So, I think it looks so beautiful. It looks so, like, natural and pretty and I think it fits my hair, like, really nicely. So, yeah. If you like this video, if you like this kind of like makeup videos, please give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet, and turn on notifications so you get a notification every time I upload a brand new video. And for now, I hope you enjoyed this video. If there are any makeup looks or any colors you want me to use or want me to try, comment them down below as well. Like I said before, like tell me what you think of my hair. I think it looks so beautiful, but I would love to hear from you what you think about it. And with that being said, I hope you have a nice day and hope to see you in my next video. <laughs> Bye.